instance, it will be Charlie Key's last meeting after one term. Uh, on our side, it will be Richard Spates' uh, last meeting after one term. Uh, both of them deciding that uh, four years is enough. Youngsters <laughs> <laughs> today have no staying power whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think I'm kind of reminded that it isn't necessarily the years that you serve, it's what you're doing in those years. And both of them have been good and conscientious councillors, especially Miss uh, Richard. Richard has served as both the chair of the scrutiny committee uh, and as portfolio holder and has been a kind of step, step last friend and, and uh, sort of supporter on his side. Uh, but I'll miss uh, Charlie as well. And it would also be uh, a remiss not to uh, say goodbye to Councillor Gupta, who has served in this chamber for 20 years, uh, serving as, again, chair of the scrutiny committee, as a portfolio holder and as mayor of the borough. Uh, as a fellow councillor in Grace, Yash has been absolutely steadfast and reliable. I can count in that 20 years on the fingers of one hand in that all surgeries uh, that Yash has missed. And I know that every resident that has ever raised an issue with him uh, has not only had a response by email, but more often than not, has had a knock at the door. Uh, Yash has gone around uh, cultivating friends across graves. Uh, he has a huge track record of voluntary <coughs> service outside of the council. Uh, and frankly, this chamber will be a sadder place uh, without Yash. Uh, for Yash, Charlie, Richard, and any others that are standing down that I don't know of, uh, we wish them a, a nice rest and a happy time. Thank you, Thank you.
and we produced excellent reports which helped to improve services for our people in the world. Twice I served as a cabinet member and did my best to improve the services. Some really interesting things happened in this chamber from time to time. I will just share three such events with you. The Labour Group can never forget all our council elections in 2004. Then we lost 17 sitting Labour councillors and became for the first time an opposition group. The second memorable event happened in the full council meeting in 2009 when the leader of the council and the leader of the Tory group stood up here and said, I am resigning from both the leaderships. And he quietly joined the Labour group. What a scene. I can never forget about that. I'm sure all those who were present on that day were totally bewildered and astonished. Third most important thing happened in my <coughs> career here when I was elected unanimously the first British Asian Mayor of Turk. During my 20 years, I have seen a few changes in the political makeup of the chamber. But the most impressive thing is the strong strength of the democratic values we all hold together. In spite of the political differences, all councillors here work hard for the welfare of all Turk residents. Nelson Mandela once said, and I would like to quote him, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others. In my opinion, that is what all councils are doing. Madam Mayor, during my 20 years, I did my best to serve the people of the borough and enjoy myself doing it. I thank all Turk residents for accepting me and my family as the first generation immigrants and gave me this opportunity to serve as an elected councillor. Special thanks to the resident Grace Turk Ward, who elected me eight times as a councillor. Thanks to all the council officers present and past of the continuous support, and thanks to our local press for their kindness towards me. Madam Mayor, before I sit down, I would like to share two quotes which have been guiding my life. Never think hard about the past. It brings tears. Don't think more about the future. It brings fear. Live this moment with a smile. It brings a cheer. And the second quote is, you don't stop laughing when you grow old. You grow old, then you stop laughing. Thank you very much.